Well, there are just a few days left before the conclusion of this year's Kentucky State Fair and after noise making devices caused chaos in the crowd last weekend, new security measures have been added. WDRB's D Darby Bean breaks down the changes and what this means for visitors at the fair. Darby. One of the things people will see is new lighting that will come on tonight and also these cameras that have been installed throughout the property. Also, now that it's 6 p.m., that minor attendance policy is in place and there's new guidance to that. Between the vendors and the crowds, visitors at the Kentucky State Fair this weekend will now see these. New cameras and lights placed throughout the property, adding an extra bump to the security already in place. You'll see visible security around property as they have had throughout the, uh, the previous days. Uh, for us, what's important is letting people know this is a family friendly environment. These tools are now added because of what happened the first weekend at the fair. When a crowd was seen running from the event after hearing loud noises that some feared were gunshots. Kentucky State Police says that is not the case and it was some type of noise making device that sparked the chaos but KSP hasn't clarified what the device was. Nine people were arrested at the fair that Saturday, but KSP did not say how many were directly related to that incident. This show's been going on for 118 years, and it's a, it's a shame that a few individuals have, have caused this concern and really brought to light some questions and issues that, that right now we've responded to in a way that we feel like sets us up for a fantastic conclusion of the fair. Friday, a pair of fairgoers said the news of last weekend caused some hesitancy, but not enough to keep them away. And he told me that it will be fine. We're going to go. We're still going to have fun. And we're here. We're having fun, enjoying ourselves. In addition to the lights, cameras and patrolling officers, the fair has also updated its minor attendance policy. That's a rule that's been in place a few years now and means that beginning at 6 p.m., anyone under 18 needs to be with a chaperone at least 21 years old. But now there's an extra part to that. Each adult can only chaperone up to six kids at a time. If you were to, in any situation, bypass our gates, uh, that is uh, subject to a criminal trespass. Um, and we need to make sure that people know that bypassing our gates or dropping off minors after that uh, 6 p.m. time is prohibited. IDs will be checked at the gates. We talked to several people out here today who didn't want to go on camera, but they did tell us that they feel safe here at the fair. The fair will run through Sunday. Reporting live with photojournalist Neil Johnson, Darby Bean, WDRB News.